Here's a uh, standby diesel generator that I built. It's a little bigger than my last one by quite a bit, actually. Uh, I rated around 5,000 watts. The generator head, right there, come off a Honda uh, E4500. But I've, when, during testing, I had 5,200 watts on it for half an hour. It never, never got warm at all. I'm sure it can handle plenty. Anyway, uh, what I have is powered by a two-cylinder Yanmar Thermal King diesel engine buried in here. It's the same sort of uh, diesel engine they use on uh, reefers where they use it for heating only. There was no uh, cooling with it. So it's a uh, two-cylinder diesel. And it's a combination of a whole bunch of things, like most of my projects. Uh, the gas tank was actually off a gas generator. Somebody else had it. I got it for nothing because it was rusty. I had to clean it out. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it's belt-driven. The motor doesn't run at 3600. I had to speed it up with a bigger pulley to match 3600 on the generator. So the engine runs, I think, 2500. Generator turns, well, just a shade over 36. Uh, I kept the box with it. I put a volt gauge in there, too. It didn't come with one. Uh, it's pretty simple. Um, I used the stock exhaust with it, the stock oil bath air filter, which I don't really care for much, but it'll do the job. It's in a fairly clean environment outside. So. Uh, it's an overflow tank for the coolant down there. I'm, it's in a water pump uh, housing that I got years ago. I had something else in it, and I built some wheels, an axle for it, and put some wheels on it so you can move it because it weighs a ton. I kept the original uh, control for the diesel engine, so it's very easy to start. Anybody can start it. My wife included. No offense to my wife, but it's there's no instructions with it. If she needs it, I just tell her flip the switch and away it goes. It's pretty good on fuel. I haven't actually, I can't give you any calculated measurements of how much it burns. I haven't run it that long. Uh, it's actually not even finished, my project. I was building it and uh, ran into a Kubota Low Boy 6500, which I actually use for my main backup. So this one's sitting out here. My power hardly ever goes out, but I needed something standby. And you can see the cord here. It runs into the house and it's on its own dedicated small circuit to run essentials like water pump and furnace and some lights and you can plug fridges in and whatever. Again, it's not like my power goes out a lot, so I don't need anything super extravagant. That tank, like I said, I have no idea how long it'll last, but I wouldn't be surprised if I got 14, 16 hours out of it. I wouldn't be shocked at all. I think it's a six gallon tank, but I'm not 100% sure. Didn't really matter to me that much, as long as it was a decent sized tank. Anyway, um, I can fire it up here. Like I said, it's fully automatic. Just gotta flip a switch, make sure there's actually a mechanic switch down there, but it's on. It's an alarm to tell you there's powered up and the system's there. Uh, it's fully automatic, glow plugs come on. It'll come on however long it's needed. As you can see, it's winter here, but it's a mild day. It's above freezing by a little bit. Not overly much, but the snow is trying to melt. Had a few hours on it. It'll focus. Almost 6,800 hours in that engine, but it doesn't seem to burn any oil at all. Come on, camera, focus. There we go. It'll take about a minute. I'll probably edit this out anyway, this beef. Oh, no, it's gone already. Shutting it off is that easy. So it's basically one switch on, one same switch off. There's no worrying about glowing it or anything else. It's got oil 
low oil pressure shut down and overheat shut down so it's pretty foolproof pretty well guarded on the engine end of it anyway and the generator has its own regular circuit breakers and everything in it so it's generally pretty safe to use there's no no not a whole lot to worry about but anyway that's kind of my little project and maybe someday when I'm done I'll do a different video and uh, maybe it'll look better then too I'm not too worried about looks as long as it makes power and it's a little noisy while I'm out the country anyway so I don't care it doesn't matter when the power's out anyway as long as you have something to make power that's what we're looking for so thanks for watching